Pasquale Espinoza, Technical Sales Manager for Badger Meter. Today we will discuss applications for our Dynasonics line of TFX ultrasonic flow meters. Flow meters come in many shapes and sizes with key advantages and disadvantages in each typical technology. For ultrasonic clamp bomb flow meters, some of the biggest advantages are low cost of ownership for large lines. The fact that they can be installed without shutting off the system, they can be bi directional and have very large turndown ratios. Let's discuss how ultrasonic flow meters work. Ultrasonic flow meters use sensors strategically mounted on a pipe to send and receive ultrasound. At the end, they're calculating the velocity of this fluid inside the pipe, and with velocity and cross-sectional area, we can calculate volume. There are two main types of ultrasonic flow meters. Transit time ultrasonics, designed specifically for cleaner liquids, and Doppler ultrasonics, designed for liquids that contain suspended solids. Transit time technology is the most common ultrasonic technology that utilizes transducers for cleaner applications. Also known as time of flight ultrasonic technologies, ultrasounds are being sent using pulses in both directions of flow. An analogy we like to use is a canoeist going from one side of the river to the other. As he goes with the flow current, he gets to the other side much quicker than if he were returning on the same path. Ultrasound does the exact same thing. So what we're Measuring is the time it takes for the transmission in both directions that delta time tells us the velocity of the flow. With transit time technology, the speed of sound in the pipe as well as the liquid must be compensated for with regards to changes in velocity. With these changes, angles of refraction are produced, which determine how these transducers are installed on the pipe. With Doppler ultrasonic technology, Two transducers are used as well. One is a sender and one is a listener. The analogy we like to use is a train coming towards you on a track. With Doppler ultrasonic technology, unlike transit time, requires the presence of solids or aeration in the liquid. Two transducers are used very much like transit time. However, one acts as a sender, the other acts as a receiver. As a sender of these ultrasonic frequencies, hit the artificial reflectors contained in this liquid, Doppler shifts produce a velocity difference in the liquid. Let's now get into transit time applications. So where do transit time flow meters work? Well, we know that the liquid has to be sonically conductive, it has to be single phase, it's got to be homogeneous, and it's got to have Reynolds number above 4,000. Pretty wide variety of applications. Typically, liquids that contain a fair amount of suspended solids, say more than 10%, are reserved for Doppler ultrasonic technologies. Transit time flow meters are used across many markets, from water applications such as irrigation, to wastewater applications for raw sewage, to HVAC on chilled water systems, or even fuel transfer on aboard marine vessels. Let's discuss some of the most common applications. The performance of transit time ultrasonic technology is dependent on the quality in a lot of cases of the pipe and also the liquid that it's being transmitted into. As you might imagine, certain applications we consider very high success. Chilled water systems, potable water, domestic water, very good applications for transit time ultrasonic. In some cases, if the water becomes hotter, if the pipes become older, it becomes more of a an issue of sound quality and performance with regards to this type of technology. In some cases, there are some applications where we tend to avoid implicitly. Sludges, as they typically have a liquid that's not sonically conductive. Slurries, as they absorb the ultrasound. Dry concrete pipes, the porosity of the pipe just won't allow for transmission of ultrasound. Transit time flow meters work on a large variety of pipe materials. Basically, the more rigid the pipe, without any aeration, any voids, or any liners, work the best. Stainless steels, plastics, PVCs, carbon steels, coppers are all good quality transit time pipe applications. Likewise, with a large variety of good quality pipes that work with transit time flow meters, there are some pipes we tend to avoid. Pipes that are concrete on the exterior, pipes that have foam core liners, some FRP pipe, also known as fiberglass reinforced pipe, tend to be poor conductors of ultrasound. So what does Badger Meter offer with transit time ultrasonic technology? Badger Meter offers several different fixed units 
as well as portable units. Today we're going to discuss the TFX Ultra line. Some common features of our Dynasonic's TFX Ultra transmitter is that it has accuracies of 1% of reading and repeatability of 0.5%. It's got a large turndown ratio bidirectionally from 40 to 1. The TFX Ultra is equipped with a, a rugged enclosure, weatherproof. It includes a wide selection of outputs as well as Ethernet IP. It can be configured with or without a keypad. It supports all of our transducers that we offer using transit time technology. And as far as mounting configurations, there are a wide variety that can suit many different application needs. There are two main transmitter types with the TFX Ultra. We can do a basic flow meter model, which is utilized as a transmitter and some transducers to give you a volumetric reading output. We also offer this product with a BTU metering system, which includes transducers for flow and transducers for temperature to be able to offer a hydronic heating and cooling opportunity. The Dynasonic's TFX Ultra and TFXL have hazardous rating certifications of Class 1 Division 2. We do have options for a Class 1 Div 1 environment through the use of our transducers that include intrinsically safe barrier. With the TFX line of ultrasonic flow meters, we offer several transducer styles to fit your application needs. We offer our DTTC and DTTS transducers for small pipe interval units from 2 inch and smaller line sizes. We also offer our DTTR, DTTN, and DTTH for applications that can be submersible or high temp applications, 2 inch and larger line sizes. And then finally, we reserve our DTTL transducer for pipe sizes of 24 inch and larger. The largest we've done is a 96 inch line. Transducers come in a wide variety of cable and conduit options to fit your application need. For example, if you have a transmitter situated 100 feet away from your measuring pipe solution, that certainly could be an option. As far as ruggedness, we could certainly supply the cables with Anaconda Seal Tight, which is a flexible armored conduit for durability and maximum life. To recap, the Dynasonics line of ultrasonic flow meters is a very universal and flexible device that can be mounted on a wide variety of pipe sizes, materials, and liquids to provide a completely non-invasive solution in a retrofit application.